Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson and we are in beautiful Colorado. Now we are headed to Ure or Ure or Ura. I, I don't know how to pronounce Colorado names for places, but we are heading there to film a destination wedding, I want to call it. And some people don't consider Colorado a destination, but for us, being from Texas, it being very flat, I'm calling this thing destination. We're gonna get to film the couple for three days. On Friday, we're going whitewater rafting with them. We're gonna film some of that. Then the next day, we're going to have the actual wedding ceremony, which we actually don't know where that's gonna be yet. They have not decided on that, so we are actually driving out there and we're gonna be helping them pick a location for them to get married, just out in the trees. And then the day after that, they have given us the entire day to travel around into the mountains and film them. I will say right now, this is not as intense of a behind the scenes as I did for our friends Noah and Mallory's wedding, which you can check out on my channel. But ideally, we're gonna be able to show you some of our ideas about the location, about the area, about how we're shooting and why we're choosing to shoot this way. You're here with us now. We don't exactly know what we're getting into. We are currently headed to Ridgeway State Park to meet the couple and the photographer. Earlier today, the photographer got to town and she has already scouted a lot of locations. And from what she said, the couple did like one called Crystal Lake. Ideally, we're gonna go check out Ridgeway State Park. We're gonna see how we feel about that. And then if the couple wants to get married there, then great. If not, and they say Crystal Lake, then me and Rachel are gonna go visit that to see how it looks. We're scouting locations right now for the ceremony. It's raining, no big deal. This looks real cool though. This place could definitely be a winner. I like this spot a lot because it's way more open, and yeah. so we have a little more room to more cram people in. Yeah. I'm a big fan of this spot. Yeah, I like this. Can you guys come stand right over here? Right on the cactus, if you can. I'll stand in the poop. Cool. You guys flip, see how it looks. Yeah! And oh, but now you're higher. Okay, so this side, the, the tall side. The yeah, you, you're, better, you're better framed in the, in the water than I'm he is. I'm gonna look like a giant. Are you guys coming to the dinner? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. no, supposed to be outside. We don't turn down free food. Oh, that was incredibly productive. Near the visitor center, there's an amazing overlook. It looks so cool. So we're thinking that that's what we're gonna have the ceremony. The couple is super cool. The photographer is amazing because she's got all these locations. Everybody's super helpful. Everybody's super nice. And I am so excited for how this is all turning out so far. Right now, we are on our way to Crystal Lake, they're considering doing the first look there. Whoever built these roads here in Colorado didn't have the budget for a railing. So it's literally just two feet and then a very, very long drop down. We're coming up on Crystal Lake, which is where they say that they are considering doing the first look. So I'm wondering, is this it right here? Do you see the geese? Did you film the geese? Look at the geese. Look at that. Pure Canadian. This place is gorgeous. There's probably so many fish in that lake. Oh, the fish there so bad. I think right here for the first look would be better because then we don't have to worry about audio. I could see him standing right up here with all this in the background, forest over here, the mountains rising up, and then over here, her walking up this path right to him. Oh my goodness. Rachel, where are you going? Don't get eaten by a bear. Beautiful. So stand right there. Let me see. Okay, I'm trying to avoid the wildflowers. Possibly horrible poison ivy. Whatever. Dude. Like have them right here. Right here. And then do maybe her leading him through the forest a little bit. This forest has the mood. It's the mood. Shoes are soaked. Tank shoes. Rachel has these mountain shoes that she wears. Technically, they were in the men's section of Academy in the oil work boot section for use 
and I bought them for Iceland because I knew they'd be so wet, but literally I could step in a puddle and it wouldn't even get wet. It's awesome. So you don't have to use it. <laughs> I nearly died just then. So I we could definitely died. have first look here, especially if we timed it correctly and then have them walk through that little forest. It'd be super, super romantic. Good morning and welcome to our first official day on the clock. This morning we're gonna have some fun because they have booked white water rafting, which is gonna be so cool to film. They asked if we wanted to go rafting with them and I'm like, no, that's okay. We just arrived at the Caddis Flats campground a little outside of Telluride. And this is where we're gonna be doing some rafting. So not us, you know, as I said earlier, we're not rafting because the cameras would not survive but these guys have been super cool. They're like, hey, yeah, totally. We have GoPro mounts. You want to just mount the GoPro to the helmet whenever we're going down? I was like, yes, yes I do. So we're just waiting on the couple and everybody else to arrive. Once they get here, they're gonna get into wetsuits and they're gonna be bust up river. We're gonna follow them and we're gonna film them getting into the water, floating down. And then the guys told us a couple cool places to stop along the way that we can stop and film them. So it's gonna be really, really good. Oh, and we already flew the drone too. And it looked really, really cool. We are now following and being followed by the two buses that have the rafts in it. They're gonna be taking everybody down river. And a shout out to Rachel here too. As we were driving, she stood up outside of the sunroof. Stood, stood up outside of the sunroof and filmed the vans. So that looks really, really cool. You, you stooding up like that. <laughs> it looks, looks so good to stood up. Yes. had an amazing time filming them rafting. We went a little down river to this bridge where Rachel set up with the 7200, so she was filming them as they were coming toward us, and I had the drone overhead flying over them as they were coming down the river. So it looked so cool. I nearly went in the water several times, but it was totally worth it. Once we were done with that, we realized that we needed to still figure out where we want to take the couple on Sunday. So we've been looking at all trails and some other apps to try to find out driving trails, hiking trails, stuff like that, where we could take the couple. <sighs> well tired, just walked up this hill. I'm not used to the altitude yet. Oh man, we are currently continuing to scout for locations. As you can see, also little wardrobe change here because we're going to the rehearsal dinner after this and we wanted to be dressed properly. That said, look where we're at. Like campgrounds, campgrounds, little overdressed to be out in the woods right now. But that said, we found an amazing location here that we want to take the couple. So this field here is just about perfect. So right over here at the end of this field is a massive cliff. And so this should look perfect. I'm not used to this many hills. I'm from Texas. Everything's flat in Texas. It's great. We might have found the perfect spot. Driving up here, we're almost to Imogene Pass, which leads up to the 13,000 foot pass that leads up over. It's like the second highest in the country. It's amazing. This Colorado, second Col highest in Sorry, there. second highest in Colorado. Not in the country. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm from Texas. But look at this. It's like green. There's like mist flowing over the mountaintop. There's aspen trees, big rock. This is like everything that I wanted. So if we can take them up right here and get all this, this wedding video's over. I don't even do anything else. It's done. I'll show this clip. Done. That's it. We just got back to Ure and we're about to go film the rehearsal dinner. But we had like 15 minutes to kill before we got there. So I decided to fly the drone along the edge of the city. So it's great because I don't like flying over buildings or something like that where there might be people because you're not supposed to do that. So what I love about Ure is that there's this whole side of the city that is not populated at all. It is just trees. And so I was able to do this sweeping panning shot of the city without having to worry about being over people. And I think it looked really, really cool. Rachel, tell them what just happened. We were going into the rehearsal dinner location and there was this like, I don't know, it was a chain like over the walkway. And so you have to step over the chain. It's pretty high. So I try to step over, get one leg over. 
and I catch my foot and I fall and hurt my knee and I'm really upset because these are my favorite stretch pants yoga pants and there's a hole and I just had to buy new pants and I have to buy more because there's a nice little hole in my favorite pants. Rachel, how did you get hurt whenever we were filming a mountain wedding? Did you fall off a cliff? Were you attacked by a bear? No. The chain over the little gate at the rehearsal dinner did her in. That was it. So clumsy. Welcome to the morning of our third day here in Ridgeway slash Ure. It's the wedding day. We are now headed to Ure to the Airbnb that the couple rented to where we are going to be filming them getting ready. So thank God they are both getting ready at the same house. So we do not need to stress too much about going back and forth from place to place. Everything should be at about the same location, which makes things very simple. Is this place even open? We were gonna try to get breakfast, but uh, that place is closed. So hopefully the couple has bought breakfast and we will eat there. If not, we'll eat Doritos. We are now here at the bride and groom's Airbnb where they're getting ready here in Ure. And whenever we first showed up, they said they wanted to get ready in two of the bedrooms in the house. But upon looking at the bedrooms, they both have pretty harsh tungsten lighting and very little windows. So even if we did turn off the lights, there's not a ton of light coming in. And we usually prefer natural light and we prefer a lot of it. So we said, hey, how about instead of that, we go to the dining room, which has a ton of light. And we literally have taken all of the furniture out of the dining room for the bride to do her makeup. The other thing, is that we have to film the groom getting ready. So I'm actually here on the deck. I don't know how well you can see it here, but we're planning on having the groom actually get dressed out here because it's not the most private, but the light is gorgeous. You have the mountains in the background. I think it looks really, really cool. We just finished filming bride and groom prep. We're now out at the first look location. We came out here and scouted it day before yesterday. This is super gorgeous, love it. We've got him up here in this field. Here we go. Now we are here at the beautiful ceremony site where we're gonna be filming, of course, the ceremony. We don't actually know if they have permission to get married here or not. They were supposed to ask about that and confirm and that just didn't happen. But what's the worst gonna happen? Other factors to consider include the massive rainstorm that is literally right there that I can see. So hoping that doesn't come any closer, hoping that stays away. Next, we're gonna set up our tripods. We're gonna set up any audio gear that we need to have and we're just gonna prepare for the ceremony. this look right here this is Matt's relaxed look why because the ceremony's over oh it's always like so much tension leading right up to the period of the ceremony 
and there's a big drop off like, oh, it's over. Unfortunately, I did not get to record any BTS of us setting up for the ceremony because everything was kind of crazy. We didn't have any issues with getting permission to get married on the cliffside. I put two mics on the efficient. I put two mics on the groom and I'm holding up four, but that's two and two. As far as cameras went, Rachel was on the A7S II on the left-hand side with a 70 to 200. We also had the FS100 set up on the other side, filming the groom with a 50 millimeter lens on it. And between the two of those, we were pretty covered for both angles that we needed of the bride and the groom's face. I followed on glide cam, walked after the bride as she came in, then did some creative shots with the glide cam, mostly with the 50 and the 24 millimeter lenses. And I think both of those looked really, really great. With all that, we are now headed to the wedding reception at the Hotel Beaumont. After that, they've rented out a room at the local distillery in town where the after party will be occurring. And then there's an after, after party back at their house with hot dogs and a hot tub. So I don't know if we're gonna sleep tonight. Welcome to the wedding reception. As you can see, it's pretty dark, but over there, the dance floor is well lit because I brought two ICANN LED lights that I absolutely love and had those set up. So the dance floor is properly lit, which makes me so happy. So we got some great first dances. We got some great toasts. I brought a mic stand, and because they had no sound system, I was using a Tascam DR10X. I'll have links to all the stuff in the description. Oh and there was a mega triple rainbow, not a double rainbow, triple rainbow above the reception. It was incredible. So I'm very, very excited about that. That is totally gonna make the video. It's unreal. All right, I think that's about it. We're about to head to the distillery. I gotta turn on all my stuff and put it in the car. <laughs> Reception site number two. This is the first after party, I guess you would say. Yeah, I guess it calls, I would call it that. People are dancing a little crazy, which is really, really good. And there's still another after party with hot dogs and a hot tub. So that's gonna happen at some point. What's up, dudes? Oh my gosh, this weather today. Unreal. Today is definitely one of the days I've been looking forward to the most because we are taking the couple up that mountain there and that mountain there. We're going way up high. I realized I did not record any BTS of the final after party, which was kind of crazy. The cool thing for me about it was that by the end of last night, I felt like we were part of the family, which that doesn't happen every wedding, but whenever it does happen, I'm like, yes. Now though, we're gonna have a great time. Get ready for some gorgeous, scenic shots of a really pretty couple in the mountains. I'm so excited about this. All right, we are now in location number two up here. We just took the couple to this beautiful meadow that we scouted before, oh, yeah. filmed them there in their hiking outfit, walking. Uh, yeah, we now we're having them change and we're gonna have them up here in these rocks. Here's Clay shirtless. Don't mind me guys. I like to get dressed up to go on my hikes. <laughs> We just arrived to one of the prime locations that I've been really wanting to hit, this beautiful meadow 
up here overlooking the entire valley and it is gorgeous so we did some shots of the couple walking through it we did some shots of clay picking her up and spinning her oh oh my gosh it's so good it's crazy no oh. we just had to get out of the jeep because the jeep weighed too much with all of us in it so we had to climb out so clay could drive it up I think that we're nearing the end of our adventure today. There's this gorgeous waterfall here that I'm about to show you. And the plan is we're gonna put them on this rock right next to the waterfall. So it's just them, the waterfall, and all the beauty. And it's gonna, oh. I just filmed quite possibly the best drone shot I've ever filmed at a wedding. Like I had the thought in my head, I envisioned how it looked, but then when I did it, it looked better. That said, everybody's getting a little tired now. We've all, uh, here's Alex over here. She's winning the porta potty. I just Don't mind her. There's a decline out the back. Don't mind her. Did you see her fall? She nearly died. It's over. The three day wedding extravaganza is over. This is actually the day after because we finished yesterday, we're really tired and didn't actually record any more vloggage for you guys. I'm sorry about that. But we had an incredible time up on the mountain with a couple. After we did that, we got back to our Airbnb and I was exhausted, Rachel was exhausted. And I thought to myself, maybe I could shoot a Milky Way time-lapse. Maybe it will work. I don't know. The forecast says it's supposed to be cloudy, but I can try to set up my camera anyway. So there was this little gap in the trees that showed the mountain peaks in the distance, clouds rolling by overhead, and I'm like, maybe it'll clear off. I'll just shoot for an hour. So I set up for an hour, I was like, I'll bring it in once it's done, I'll go to bed. And after about 50 minutes, I go out there and check and I start to realize that the stars are visible. I'm starting to see a little bit. And I'm like, yes, this is so cool. So I said, okay, I'm gonna leave it out overnight. I'm not gonna worry about it. I hope it doesn't rain. So I went out and got it at 5 a.m., checked through the photos, and it was mind-blowing. I got clouds, then I got stars, then I got the Milky Way with some clouds, and then there was a lightning storm off to the side. And I have this awesome still that I'm about to post to Instagram later today. I'm so excited about it. That was kind of what I was looking for for this wedding film. I wanted to have some transitional shots going from day to day because this was a three-day event. So I like the idea of having some night time lapses to kind of bridge the gap between those different days as I jump between them. I'm so glad you guys were able to tag along and see this. I hope that me explaining my thought process was helpful to you guys. I hope that you seeing a lot of the shots that we got on this trip was helpful to you. So with that, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave one below or get in touch with me through my website, whoismat.com. If this video was helpful to you, I would absolutely love it if you would consider sharing it with any friends of yours that also shoot weddings. If you think that they are maybe shooting some destination stuff in the future, that'd be super great and super helpful to me. And we're right next to the coffee shop too, where I can get pancakes. It's a great day. Cool. See y'all later.